Welcome to this Fabricville tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this bathing suit from the Mikos M7964 pattern. To make it we'll need the pattern, pins, scissors and or a rotary cutter, 1 meter of 6 mm wide elastic, a marking pen, bathing suit fabric, some lining and assorted thread. First I pin the pieces of the pattern onto the fabric folded in half and I cut it out. Here I'm using a rotary cutter which allows me to get quick and sharp cuts. I also cut the bottom of the bathing suit in lining. Then I transfer the markings. I cut three pieces of elastic according to the pattern guides. To start the assembly, I pin the straps pieces right sides together and I stitch together along the long edges. In order to do this, I use a stretch stitch. I trim the seam allowances and turn the straps right side out. To make the bottom, first I lay the front with the right side facing up, then I lay the back with the right sides facing down. Then I place the back lining with the right sides facing up and the front lining with the right side facing down. I pin the crotch. And I stitch the four layers together. Now I place the panties front on the back with the right sides together. Then I lay the front lining with the right side facing up and the back lining with the right side facing down. I pin the sides, I stitch and I trim, grading the seam allowances. I turn the bottom right side out and the seam allowances are not visible either on the right side or in the inside. Now I'm going to pin the straps on the panties front right sides together matching the notches. I pin. Then I stitch. I pin the waist elastic band to the inside, matching the notches, lapping the ends at the back. I also pin one elastic to each leg seam allowance, matching the notches. And I stitch using a zigzag stitch, stretching the elastic to fit. Finally, I turn in the elastic and seam allowance towards the inside and I stitch close to the edge at the waist and at the leg. And our bathing suit is ready. We we'll love to see your sewing projects, so don't forget to tag Fabricville when you post your creation on Instagram. Thanks for watching.